Next, we are going to solve an inequality that looks scary. Why does it look scary? Well, there's higher powers of x and there's fractions. I don't like fractions. I'm going to start by multiplying everything by 8. You want to be careful if you multiply by a negative, and then you would flip your inequality. The good news is, no matter what x is, 8 is always positive. So I can multiply by 8 and not worry about it right here. So for step one, multiply by 8. So what is that going to look like? Multiply by 8 knocks out the fraction here. And I have to multiply the entire right side by 8. x cubed plus 20x greater than or equal to 8. x squared plus 2. 8x squared plus 16. And this is a uh, question 52 on page 281, uh, exercise 52 on page 281. I recommend you do some of the problems out of the book, especially if you're struggling with the web work problems because chapter three can be quite tricky. How in the world do we solve this? So here's the steps we're gonna take. Step one, we're going to uh, graph, which is going to take a little while graph. Now what are we going to graph? We need to get all terms on one side. So we're going to, I like to keep my highest power positive, which is x cubed. So I'm going to subtract everything on the right side. Now add, adding subtracting does not flip inequalities. So we're going to have x cubed minus 8x squared plus 20x minus 16 is greater than or equal to 0. I'm going to give this a name, and we're going to call it f of x. So I'm going to graph f of x, and then solve f of x greater than or equal to 0. How do I factor this? Well, we have the rational 0 theorem. What are the potential rational zeros? Factors of 16 divided by factors of 1. Good news is there's not many factors of 1, so we're just going to worry about factors of 16. Rational zero theorem. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Start with easy, plus and minus 1. So what is f of 1? We have 1 cubed, minus 8 times 1, plus 20 minus 16. And unfortunately, this is not going to be zero. How do I know? I got, this is all even, and that's odd. So there's no way we're going to get a zero. You can add 20 plus 1 is 21, minus 8 minus 16 minus 24. Either way, not zero. Moving on, f of negative 1. So we have negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1 minus 20, minus 16, this is very negative, also not zero. Trying two now, two cubed is eight, minus eight times four, 32. Hopefully 20 times two plus 40 minus 16, we have 48 minus 48, there we go, and we get zero. All right, x equals two is a zero, corresponds to which factor? x minus two, factor. All right, we got a factor. What we're gonna do now is divide f of x by this factor. I think we can fit it. Hopefully we can do all this work here. Make sure you write down the original f of x, x cubed. I have all my terms, so I don't need to worry about any missing terms. Now we do this division. We need x squared. x cubed minus 2x squared. Subtract x cubed minus x cubed 0 minus 8x plus 4x squared is minus 
four x squared plus twenty x. So I'm gonna need a minus four and I need one more power of x. So it's minus four x. Minus four x times negative two is positive eight x. And we're subtracting minus four x squared plus four x squared is zero. 20x minus 8x, 12x. Minus 16, this is not looking good. Well, I'll just keep going. And four, so I need a 12. 12 times 12x minus 24, subtract, 0x is negative 16 plus 24 is positive 8. Now I was expecting 0, so we have a problem. So 8 is not 0, obviously. What do we do? There's two places I could have made a mistake. I could have done division incorrectly. I like to check, make sure I wrote things down correctly. Is this really f of x? x cubed minus 8x squared plus 20x minus 16, yes. x minus 2 was the factor that corresponded to x equals 2 was a 0. Is this really a 0? I'll check this. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4 times 8. 30, negative 32. 20 times 2 is 40, minus 16, add them, 48, 48, I should have gotten 0, all right, so maybe there's a mistake down here. I'm basically checking things in the order what's the fastest to check first. So what did I need here? I needed an x squared, so x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times negative 2, negative 2 x squared, subtract, x cubes cancel, negative 8, plus 2 is negative 6. I'm going to come back with the green marker. This should have been negative 6. Here's a really good time for a whiteout or an eraser or starting on a new piece of paper. Negative 6. Now how does that change things? We don't need negative 4x, we need negative 6x right here. So negative 6x and multiply, we have negative 6x squared. It's going to still cancel, but we're going to get minus 6 times negative 2 is 12, positive 12. So we get 20 minus 12 is 8. So this should have been 8 right here, which means I would need not 12, but 8. So negative 6x plus 8, 8 times x is 8x, 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. So that should be 16 minus 16, and we get what we were hoping to get, which is 0. So there was my mistake. So we get remainder, 0. All right. So we're going to rewrite f of x, x minus 2, x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now I could go rational zero theorem again, divide by whatever factor I find, and then this will be, uh, you basically drop one degree every single time you divide. So I started out degree 3, I now have degree 2, if I divide again I'll have degree 1. The other way to do it, can I just factor this? How can we factor? There's a couple ways. If we're lucky, it'll just factor nicely. Let's pretend that I can't see how to factor this. What I'm going to do is go with the quadratic formula that we saw before. Why does that work for factoring? Because factors correspond to zeros. So if I set 0 equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. I'm going to use 
negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Negative b is positive 6 plus or minus square root 6 squared minus 4ac minus 4 times 8 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. 36 minus something, 32 is 4. So 6 plus or minus 4 over 2, square root 4 over 2, which is 6 plus or minus 2 over 2. So there's two choices here, 6 plus 2 over 2, or 6 minus 2 over 2. These are nice fractions, 8 over 2 is 4, or 4 over 2 is 2. Now what we were doing, x has two solutions, 4 and 2. What factors these correspond to? x minus 4, x minus 2. So we're going to get a bounce intercept across intercept. So we're graphing x intercept x equals 2 bounce because the power is even. x equals 4 cross. Where's our y intercept? We will see that right here. Plug in 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 16. Our y intercept 0, negative 16. End behavior, you only have to look here, odd positive. So we had odd positive. This is our end behavior. Now we're ready to graph. Two and four. End behavior. Now you want to be careful. It's very tempting to go down here, which we will do, but really our last point is minus 16. This is not to scale. So from here, we're going to go down. That works our end behavior. Right there, we just got to cross and bounce to the right spot. 2 is a bounce. 2 is a bounce. Better be crossing at 4. And it is. So we're solving this, which really means solve our function f of x greater than or equal to 0. When is it greater than 0? This part here. Where is it equal to 0? These two. So our final solution, x equals 2 or 4 or more. So we have the single value 2 union the closed interval, interval 4 to infinity. And this is our final solution right here.